was good y'all rich so so checking back in and i just want to start this video off by saying thank y'all so much first things first to the rich gang family y'all as well as any new supporters that are coming out and showing y'all amazing love man i just want y'all to know that this is where i bring every single bill to y'all on current as well as next gen so do not worry you will be getting the latest the greatest the rarest and the best builds possible in nba 2k from me y'all so without that being said let's go ahead and get right into it the build that i'm bringing y'all today is none other than the rebounding wing y'all now what makes this one special is that you are able to get the pro dribble moves as well as maintaining the rebounding wing name y'all so if that is something you're interested in i highly highly suggest that y'all watch this entire video through but before we get into the making man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new y'all to the rich gang family as well as any new supporters y'all already know what y'all need to do go ahead and run up those likes now let's go ahead and get right into the making of this rebounding wing y'all so the first thing that y'all want to go ahead and do is go ahead and put your position to the small forward now i am sure that you can make this build out of different positions if i stand by correctly but again we're going to go ahead and do it out of the small forward. Let's go ahead and change the height. What we're going to go ahead and do here is put it at 6'8". When it comes to the weight, what you want to go ahead and do is put it at 230. And when it comes to the wingspan, go ahead and max it out at 7'6", y'all. Now, when it comes to the body shape, by any means necessary, y'all, you want to go with Burley for this specific build. Bill is cool, but for every rebounding wing build, I suggest that you're going to be going with Burley, y'all. Now let's go ahead and get right into the stats breakdown y'all now you want to go ahead and do every single thing as i'm showing y'all here any stat difference may change the build name so do not do that when it comes to the finishing put your driving layup to a 92 go ahead and put your driving dunk to a 95 put your standing dunk to a 26 and your post control to an 84 that right there is going to give you 16 finishing badges y'all when it comes to the shooting go ahead and put your mid-range shot to an 82 Put your three pointer to an 81 and from your free throw again it's all going to be based on preference with how many badges y'all want but i'm going to put it at 92 to get 14 y'all now when it comes to the playmaking to get the pro dribble moves like i told y'all earlier go ahead and max out your ball handle as well as your speed with ball from here we're going to go ahead and put enough of our pass accuracy up to where we get nine badges so what we're going to go ahead and do is put it to 75 you don't want to change these numbers again you do risk changing the build name and that is something that you will risk doing if you change any of these stats especially when it comes to the mid-range for example if you go to 83 you will be getting a different build name y'all now when it comes to the defense go ahead and put your perimeter defense to an 86 put your block to a 95 bring your defensive rebound up to a 95 and that's going to bring your offensive rebound to a 70 when it comes to the steal, go ahead and put that at 53. That's going to give you 24 defensive badges, y'all. Now, when it comes to the speed, go ahead and put that at 81. Put your acceleration at 78. Strength at 85. Vertical at 88. And when it comes to the stamina, by any means necessary, you can max it out if you want to. Or you could go the route of putting it 84. And go ahead and put the rest on any other category that you want to go with. But do not touch the shooting at all because you will be changing the build name if you do that. Now, I know there's ways where you could get certain badges and get extra badge points in other areas, but again, that's something that you could do if you wanna risk taking that route. Again, I like the balance setup that we have with 16, 14, nine, and 24. Honestly, I can say that when it comes to this build, it is super rare because of the fact that we're getting the pro dribble moves on this kind of build, y'all. Now, that is something to consider. Let's go ahead and look at the takeovers. Now, as you can see, we get the slashing. We're also going to be able to get the lockdown. From here, we're also going to be able to get the glass cleaning. Of course, we are a rebounding wing. But the last one that we're going to be able to get, y'all. Now, I'm telling y'all, this makes it even more different. We're getting the post-scoring takeovers, y'all. So, again, it's really all based on what you want to do. And again, like I'm telling y'all, 
the most OP takeovers in the game are definitely going to be the defensive ones. So it's all based on what you feel like is going to be best for your play style. I'm going to go with extreme claps for mine. Second one, I would really consider one of the post scoring. But I feel like see the future takeover is really good. Now, as you can see, y'all, the build we have made is a finisher. But again, now we're going to go back and change some of these stats. I'm telling y'all. If you put some of the stats in any of these categories, as you can see, I went from a 27 to a 26 when it came to my standing deck, y'all. Take it off and look at what we get. A rebounding wing. That is why I said you have to be careful when making these builds. Any stat change, even if it's just one stat, it doesn't change the bad setup. You still are risking getting a different build name, y'all. So you have to consider that. Now let's go ahead and check out what this build is going to look like at 99. As you can see when it comes to the stamina that's going to get boosted at 95. We're also going to have a 95 vertical. Strength is going to get boosted at 93. When it comes to your acceleration that's going to be 96 and we're going to have an 89 speed y'all. When it comes to the defense we're going to have a 99 defensive rebound, 74 offensive, 99 block, 90 perimeter defense y'all. And when it comes to the ball handle we're going to have 80, speed with the ball will be an 81. When it comes to the three pointer we're going to have an 85, 86 mid range, 99 driving dunk. Our driving layup is going to get boosted at 96. I'm going to have an 88 post control, y'all. So I'm telling y'all, this build is super good. Honestly, really different from what we are used to seeing rebounding wings in the past. But again, I can say for myself that this is a build that can easily run the one if you have it in the hands of the right player and they know how to use it. But let's go ahead and get right into the bad setup, y'all. So the first category that we're going to get into is going to be the playmaking, y'all. The first badges we're going to throw on is going to be quick first step on gold. From there, we're going to go with handles for days. Now here, you could really run space creator if you want to to break ankles. To help your teammates, I would consider dimer. Floor general as well, but again, you don't need to run it because again, it's on gold and not hall of fame. You could even consider silver bailout as well as unpluckable. Again, it's all going to come down to what y'all want to do. You could even run stop and go. But again, that's what I'm going to do just to help out with dribbling. Now let's go ahead and get right into the shooting, y'all. From here, we're going to go ahead and put on D3s as well as Hot Zone Hunter. Now, I'm going to put on Hot Shot or you can consider it because you are able to boost your takeover with this badge. Now let's go ahead and consider Fade Ace as well because you do have an 88 post score once you max this build out at 99. For myself and my personal preference, I can say the bronze badges that I'm comfortable with running would be Green Machine, Corner Specialist, as well as Catch and Shoot. But you guys are all gonna run what you wanna do. That's just some ideas and what I think is best. Now let's go ahead and get right into the finishing, y'all. So what you wanna go ahead and do is first put on Posterizer as well as Heat Seeker on Hollow fame from here we're left with a total of eight badges to help out your teammates and their takeover go ahead and put on highlight film but again you could run any of the post scoring badges if you want to on hall of fame because you do have some post scoring game now from here i'm going to go with bronze lob city finisher just to get alley oops put back boss on silver as well as bronze acrobat and for the last hall of fame badge i would go with slithery finisher or fearless finisher y'all it's all going to come down to what you want to do giant slayer is another really good one as well but the combo that i like to run on my main build is going to be posterizer heat seeker as well as slithery finisher y'all pro touch is really good so do not worry you can put on that badge as well if you like to run it now let's go ahead and get right into the last category which is the defense y'all so the first badge that we're going to go ahead and put on is for sure is going to be intimidator we get it on hall of fame for this build so that is a w now the next badge you want to go ahead and put on is going to be bronze rim protector as well as chase down artists now do that if you want to just get the blocking animations that these badges come with but again by any means you could put them on hall of fame if you want to now i'm telling y'all not a lot of people know that certain badges will unlock animations for example like i'm always telling y'all Bronze Rim Protector as well as Chase Down Artist unlocks certain blocking animations that not every single build will get that can't put on those badges, y'all. It makes sense because again, that is the point of having badges. They unlock animations that you're not able to buy in the game. So that is the reason why you want to grind them out and put on the right ones. You don't want to go in the park or any type of game mode with badges that aren't going to be at your use, y'all. Now, again, there's so many different setups that you could run when it comes to the defense. I'm just trying to give y'all some ideas. But again, there's so many different setups that are going to be right. Again, it comes down to your play style, your preference. Don't let anybody tell you what you like to run is wrong. As long as you see it fitting 
succeeding and working for yourself, I promise you that it will guarantee bring you the success that you're trying to get, y'all. Do not listen to other people. Don't listen to the setups that I'm even trying to tell y'all. Go with what is best with your play style and your favorite preference, y'all. But that's the setup we're going to go with, 16, 14, 9, and 24. Thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family as well as all the supporters for showing y'all love and amazing support, y'all. I'm going to continue to grind out videos every single day. But, man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new, y'all. To the Rich Gang family as well as any new supporters, y'all. Be sure to run up those likes. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all. Be sure to turn on post notifications so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said. I got one last thing to say. Rich out.